Okay, we're going to talk about our true bar balance bar system and the installation of the rod end to the master cylinder push rod. Um, I will say that as an experienced racer, I mean, we're all guilty of taking a shortcut or a shortcut's a good word. But here's the problem here. This particular one, when you have a rod end and you try to tighten the jam nut, solely on its own against here the mono ball housing crashes into the spacer or if you, the other direction that goes into the into the balance bar itself it will damage the housing pinching the ball which virtually makes the balance bar ineffective and the way to know this is ultimately which is if you were to grab the bar and move it and you see movement being transmitted into the balance bar itself, that's a problem. The other thing too, on these systems, they are so precise and, and fine adjustable. I mean, they really move a half a turn on our balance bar cable is a change there. You can see on this one here, when I try to adjust it with a damaged mono ball, nothing's happening. Then it starts to wind up and it jumps. That's, not, that's incorrect. Now I'm going the other way and you can see what happens. The other thing that happens when these are damaged, if you were to run it that way, as you run and you work the brake pedal, each time this is seized up on here and this is pivoting, it's actually adjusting this. So when it rolls, it's making a little bit of a, a minute turn in the trunnion system, which is adjusting your balance. So the proper way to install these again is to put them on your uh, push rods 7 16 wrench to back up the mono ball, then your half inch wrench, keeping this centered and snug the system up. Not tightening this, using this as a stop and damaging the housing.